learn how to format your text broker articles using H1, H2, H3 tags, using bold and italic. Keep watching. Hey folks, this is Karen. This is a little tutorial video by request from one of my viewers. And this is related to the text broker review video I did. And this has to do with formatting an article that you're putting into text broker. Now I can't get into text broker and into their actual WordPress box or, or post box because I'm not working on an article right now. And that's the only time you can access it is when you're working on an article or you're submitting your sample article. So formatting. Most of the articles are going to require you to have at least one heading and that would be the H1. So what that is is simply little carrot there, H1 inside those brackets and then you would close it by putting the same thing but put a little slash mark in front of it. That's your closing tag. So and you always want to make sure that these match. So H1, H1. Subsequent headings would be H2, H3, and you do the same thing. You put them inside the bracket, and then you add a little tag there to close it. Other things you may be required to do would be bold and italicize, and that's to put emphasis on certain words or phrases. So you would highlight, once you, once you get your article into the box. Up at the top of your box are your little formatting things. So you can bold something by clicking on bold and that puts the words strong and closing the strong tags. So you can do that by hand just by remembering that strong means bold. And then don't forget to close your tag with the little, little hashtag. If you need to italicize you can put like highlight a phrase here before you decide. Now I want that to be emphasized. There's a little I that's italicized. Now just look for these at the top of the text broker box. That's where the formatting um, buttons are. So you would just click that. And if you want to do this again, again, if you want to do your formatting before you put it into the text broker box, you can do this like a notepad and just type EM in the, in the, inside those little brackets. EM stands for emphasize because you're going to emphasize this phrase, but you don't really need to bold it. Okay, so, and then always remember to close the bracket with that little tag. As you start doing articles, you may be required to link to sources. So they'll want you to put a link to a website and or what they will call hyperlink. What that means is you're going to click on, you know, when people are using this, you can click on that phrase and it'll open up to another website. Here's how you do that. Say I want this phrase uh, pole barn builders and I want that to link out to another pole barn article. Now I'm doing this in WordPress so it says link. What you're going to see in text broker is a little three link chain. So it's like a little chain link and that means link. That's the icon for link, for hyperlinking a phrase. So you would just click on it. Now in Text Broker, all you're able to do is put the website. That's all Text Broker is going to give you. It's not going to ask you to open a new tag or anything else. This is all WordPress stuff. All you're going to do is insert your link and this will be the link text which should show up as to what you're linking and then you just push either add or insert. Now to do that by hand, sometimes I do that by hand, other times I don't. <laughs> I'll just do it right inside text broker, 
but the code for doing that is a and this is inside the little bracket a h r e f equals and then a, a quote mark then your website link end quote mark the end of the carrot and then here's the text this is the text that gets linked then you close that link and that's just closing the A just like with the H with the strongs you do a before and after this is the same thing well you're closing this A and that gives you a hyperlink so this helps you with doing your H1, H2, your um, italics, your bold, and linking, you doing hyperlinks. There's other things you can do with your articles. It just depends on the client and the article that you pick and what they ask for. But this one, for example, I needed to do a numbered list and I code these myself but you can also use their things so you OL would start a numbered list the LI starts the list items so like if you have OL and then LI the first LI would say number one the second LI would be number two if you're you know etc and then um, I'd have to look, I, like I said, I, I don't do that inside a text broker. I always code my own. UL starts what's called an unnumbered list. What that is is just bullet points. So you would go UL and then LI would be your first bullet point and then a second bullet point and so on. Those are about the only things that are in text broker is your bold, your italic, or strong and emphasize, your hyperlink, and then your um, bullet lists and numbered lists. And then this designates whether it's going to be a bullet or a number. The rest of this disregard because it's just that's just WordPress stuff. So Hopefully that helps. Uh, I can, if anybody requests it, I can do a follow-up video the next time I put an article into Text Broker, and then you can see how I actually do it. Okay, so that'll that'll do it for this video. And like I said, I can follow this up with another one the next time I do a Text Broker article, so you can see how I'm formatting it. Alrighty, hope this helps. If you haven't already, subscribe below, and. That'll do it. Have a good week.